This project successfully investigated the use of a common earth material to directly capture carbon dioxide emissions. Our submission is LDAC cubed, which is our solution to excess CO2 in the atmosphere. CO2 has uh, two significant problems with it. And one is that it's very long lived. And so it can last hundreds of years or even thousands of years in the atmosphere. The effect of this CO2 is to raise the temperature of the Earth's surface. And that's a problem. It wreaks havoc with our climate. Our technology uses clay to capture CO2 from air. One incredible property of clay is the ability to absorb fluid and expand. And when it expands, it opens new pore spaces and increases the surface area for gas uptake. So we leverage those properties to uh, capture CO2 from air. Uh, what we found is that the amount of CO2 in the confined space here is much higher than the amount of CO2 in the bulk water. So our experiments investigated the hydration state impact of clay minerals on CO2 uptake. And we did this with two different experimental methods. We did a batch method and also a continuous method. From the batch method, we learned that the increase in hydration state actually increased the CO2 uptake. The continuum method, we took a larger volume of clay and packed the center column. We exposed and hydrated it um, with a certain level of RH. And after we infiltrated the clay with a certain concentration of CO2, which was also monitored downstream with a CO2 meter. And across this column, we also monitored the relative humidity gradient with RH gauges. We perform molecular simulations using enhanced sampling techniques known as metadynamics to understand the conversion reaction of carbon dioxide to carbonic acid in bulk and nano-confined aqueous media. We extract the free energy barrier and we find that the free energy barrier of carbon dioxide conversion to carbonic acid reduces by at least 10 kilocal of energy. So the nice thing of this technology is by controlling relative humidity across the column, we can minimize the energy input for operating in the whole system. So that reduces the cost and also the material we use is uh, uh, very inexpensive uh, because they have natural material partly in, uh, in available. So overall, our technology is much less expensive than the other existing uh, technologies. And in addition, the moisture in the air actually will help the whole process. So when we reduce the relative humidity, clay loose water and it shrink. And when it shrink, it's gonna squeeze all the water and the CO2 out of the nanopore. This material is amazing because of three things. First, is a naturally occurring abundant material, it's clay. Second, it's environmentally friendly. Third, we can do the whole capture and release of CO2 at ambient temperatures. Sandia allows a collective group of people to align and help solve some of the biggest problems the world faces today.